Good afternoon, everybody. This is Steve. Welcome to the Little Little Wood Shop. Well, in today's tutorial, we're going to be showing you. Uh, basically, we are, we are revising our library with this wonderful piece of software known as Camstasia. Uh, it offers video uh, capturing right off the monitor for a nice, clean, crisp image or video. And no more of this my old camera on my tripod over my shoulder in my ill-lit office, all right? So without further ado, we're going to bring up VCarve Pro because I had told you in a prior video uh, how to take a raster, again, a, a JPEG image, convert it into a vectorized, digitized image with the use of Inkscape, which is still my personal favorite, but I thought it was important to show you how to also do this within VCarve Pro itself. Now. Uh, the image in question today is going to be, uh, we're going to do a highly, high detailed Bullwinkle the Moose. And don't mind me, I'm trying to multitask here, which is, which is a little difficult. Here is the moose that we are going to render today for you. Alright, now if, and this is a JPEG image as well, if I go to zoom in on him, you can see the pixelation all over the animal. It's, it's bad, alright? So, I felt that, for the sake of the example, this would be a nice image, all right? Let me close out of him. Now, what we're going to do is, we've already got our work size. It's uh, 12 inch by 12 inch for the sake of the example, okay? We're going to import the bitmap for tracing, and whatever directory or folder you have it in, uh, just take and, and load it in. <clears throat> click open and here's our image of Mr. Moose alright now I'll do this show you the exact same thing here if I zoom in on him we can see that the pixelation from this JPEG or raster image is out of control so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to clean him up within VCarve Pro itself as best we can now we highlight the we highlight the animal we come over here to create vectors trace bitmap and we choose between either it's a color or a black and white well it's clearly a black and white so that's the one we highlight now we can adjust our threshold we can adjust it down to where it's very light or we can crank it up to where it's very dark we're gonna run him about middle of the road we're gonna say 50 percent right where it was where we started from uh, Corner fit is of no consequence to me right now for, this, for the example of this video, nor is default noise. The other adjustment I play with here is bitmap fading. You can either take a lot of the bitmap colors, fade them out, or bring them in. Well, I want as much as I can possibly have. I want to preview this image, okay? Well, he's not quite what I want. So I'm going to readjust the bitmap fading to, say, 10%. And I'm going to preview him again. All right. He's a little better, but for the sake of the example, this will work. Click Apply. And then close out your trace bitmap box. All righty. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, we're going to highlight anywheres inside the box without clicking on the animal itself so what I do here is once he's highlighted I go to my keyboard I hit delete it gets rid of all the grayscale and it leaves me with just the transparency and the tooling marks however we have still got all these little square pixelated boxes now you would have to go in and you'd have to delete these all one by one and I can tell you when I first started out I did that very thing it is not fun you're not gonna like it uh, and there's a lot of cleanup to be done as well as we can see that we have some node editing to do here which we will do in another video as a matter of fact so what I'm gonna do for the sake of the example he is now rendered into uh, a traceable bitmap through vCarve Pro. We're going to open up our engraving toolpath function. 40 thousandths is fine and I've got a 60 degree 3 fluted 0.250 inch uh, V-bit that I'm going to 
we're going to engrave him out with. We need to highlight our moose, and we click calculate. We can see our yellow bar on the bottom. Okay, the tool path has been run. We'll close out. We're going to come up to preview our tool path, okay? And we're going to make sure that we highlight the toolpath color in black so we can even see them in the first place. And we're going to preview all these toolpaths. He's rendered. He doesn't look too, too bad until we zoom in on him. Now we can see a lot of the imagery. And as I told you in many other videos, CAD software and your piece of equipment is the perfect child. It will follow your instruction to the letter. It will not question you, okay? From afar, he doesn't look bad, but if we zoom in, we can see all the indiscrepancies. So let's go back out to here. Now, what I'm gonna show you is we're going to, we're gonna take and just, oh, goodness gracious. We're gonna drag our moose. We're gonna get him right off the, uh, the engraving surface. So I'm just gonna put him over here. What I am going to do, however, is I'm going to import, uh, let's see here, I do have the PDF of him. We're going to drag in the PDF file, exact same critter, and I'll actually even open up the PDF for you to see, and I'm going to drag him over in place. Now. We can see that as we enlarge him, our lines are a lot cleaner, they're a lot sharper, there's no little square boxes. Why? Because a PDF is a vectorized image. All right. Well, what we'll do is we'll take the PDF or an EPS, just for the, sh just for the sake of showing you here, we're going to drop him in the middle. I am going to open up a second carving function using an already vectorized image through Inkscape and I'm going to recalculate the tool pass again. All right. We'll close out. Let's bring him up. We're going to reset. Let's make sure that our tool path color is in black so we can see what we just did and we're going to preview the whole animal. Oh my goodness. I've got both of them there. Excuse me for one moment, please. Okay, reset. And we're going to preview just the, uh, the second one that we ran. All right, I'm sorry about that. Here we are. Now, if we expand him and we bring him in, we do not suffer from the same indiscrepancies that we had tracing him in our bitmap as compared to this image that we did in Inkscape alright again I, I am personally the Inkscape guy I, I like rendering all my vectorized images that way it's up to you Inkscape is free to download it's free use it's open source uh, I think that the website does have a donation button it's certainly worth whatever you can afford to to throw the developers because again this is uh it's free but you know people involve their time to to make this all right well i hope this helped it was a little comparison between what actual professional software can do because i think there's more functionality in inkscape as far as cleaning up your imagery as compared to say uh, the bitmap tracing in vCarve alone, okay? All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much, my followers, my subscribers. I appreciate you very much, and uh, we've got more to come. So thank you.